Hello fellow hunters, Greg here, Widowmaker Production. Uh, today I'm going to be working on mixing up some monster mud. Um, thought maybe people would be interested in seeing how I do that. Nothing technical about it, but not any videos out there on it, so I thought I'd put my own out. So here we okay, go. Okay, here's what you need. You need one bucket of drywall compound. That's what I'm using. This is actually a four and a half gallon bucket of drywall compound, which gives us about four gallons of drywall compound. One bucket of exterior flat paint. You need a mixing drill with a mixing paddle and another bucket because you can't get all that paint into that bucket. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this into that bucket and the paint in along with it and mix it all up. Basically you want a, a 4 to 1 ratio. Um, that seems to work pretty good for me and that's what I used on my uh, Grim Reaper prop if you go back uh, in my history there I have a video shows a Grim Reaper that I built a couple years ago uh, using the same method and I've got a lot of projects coming up here for uh, a lot of projects coming up here for uh, Monster Mud so uh, the great thing about this is it'll keep you can uh, after you're done using it just place a piece of saran wrap down over the top of it nice and tight to the mixture so no air can get into it and put a lid on the bucket and that'll keep for a long time so um, you know hopefully uh, I've had make enough for this year I, I'm pretty sure I will <laughs> it's, it's an awful lot of monster mud but it depends on the projects you're trying to build that my Grim Reaper prop took an entire unit to, to make that. So, um, let's get started with mixing it up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Alright, so what I did is I ended up pouring half of the drywall mud into the bucket. Then I poured the full gallon of paint in. Then I put the rest of the drywall mud in gonna fill it up I didn't realize it was gonna get that full um, but uh, you know four gallons of one five another gallon of paint that's five gallons I'm gonna use in a five gallon bucket <laughs> so anyways mix it up Let's go slow so you don't make a mess And there you have it. It's all mixed up. Didn't make a mess. I'm really surprised. <laughs> I'm a messy guy. But uh, yeah, real easy to do. Uh, all right, I guys. I don't know what happened to that last part of that video. Um, lost all the sound. I don't know why that happened. Uh, if you you look back for earlier in the video the voice wasn't even synced up with my mouth it looked like you're watching a goddamn Chinese movie so anyways just wanted to go over a few things real quick it's a four to one ratio four parts drywall compound to one part exterior paint 
Now, when you choose your paint color, one thing you got to keep in mind is that you're adding a white product to the paint, so it's going to make it lighter. So when you choose that color, keep in mind it's going to be a lot lighter than what it came out. I would say that uh, as much as 25 or 35 percent lighter than what you originally pick. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, you know, and when you're mixing up five gallons of this stuff at a time, you need that paddle, you need, you know, the mix and drill. Um, so, it makes it easier. I suppose you could do it by hand, it'd take you forever, and your arms are going to basically fall off your shoulder because you'd be so damn tired trying to mix it up by hand. Um, you, you know, mix up smaller amounts, I guess. Uh, but it will keep for quite a while. Uh, all you got to do is when you're done with it, take a piece of saran wrap and place it down inside the bucket so there's no air left so it's laying on top of the monster mud itself and then put a lid on it throw it on the shelf it'll keep for probably a year or maybe even longer if, as long as you don't let it freeze um, so that's about it uh, you know I guess your next step from that point once you get it mixed up is you're going to want uh, like a bin uh, 24 inch by 36 inch bin over in like the concrete section of Home Depot or, or Lowe's. They sell these bins for m mixing up concrete by hand, small amounts with a shovel. That's what I use. Just dump my monster mud into that thing, take my fabric, drape it down into it, cover every square inch of the fabric with the material with the monster mud, and then drape it over, you know, wring it out real good and then drape it over whatever I'm trying to dress um, and let it dry. That's it. It's simple as hell. And I can't tell you how happy I am with the, the Grim Reaper prop that I did uh, a couple years ago. I haven't had any problems with it. It's hard as a rock. It's not so heavy that I can't pick it up and move it. I mean that prop is about six foot two. I mean, it's, it's a full human size and it probably only weighs about maybe 50 pounds and I would assume most of that weight is from the, the actual structure of it uh, supporting it so that's about it I uh, just wanted to put those few extra notes in there for you guys and uh, I've got quite a few monster mud, mud projects that I'm hoping to get accomplished I'm going to be experimenting with the product a little bit uh, trying it out on different surfaces, trying it with different types of fabric, different types of like paper towels and and things like that to see what all I can do with it and you know, see what works best, you know, maybe come up with some new methods. I may even try and throw some cellulose in with it. I didn't even think of that one. That could be kind of interesting. You know, maybe use it like a cellulose clay type monster clay I don't know we'll see you know I'm gonna try out some new things um, and if they don't work I'll let you know you know that way it saves you the time and effort and money of trying them out yourself and who knows we may stumble across something new that revolutionizes the whole way we do things so that's about it happy haunting see you on the next one